Hi and welcome to my tutorial on how to install Windows XP mode on Windows 7 without HAV support. I'm going to take you to the website where you will download from Microsoft.com the Windows, Windows XP mode. By the way, this link is provided below the video. If you just click on that, you will, it will take you to this same website. And as you can see over here in the top right, it tells you about Hardware Assisted Virtualization, HAV. In my particular case, on this laptop, I do not have that ability. Uh, you may want to check in to whether your computer has that ability or not. In this particular video we're going to teach you how to install Windows XP mode without the HAV and in, in, in my opinion using the VMware which is better than using the virtual PC that uh, Microsoft provides. VMware will allow you to run more than one operating system. You can run the XP mode and you can also run uh, different versions of Linux, uh, different servers, there's really no end to what you can run with the VM software. So when you come to this website, and again I provided a link below this video, you're going to come to microsoft.com slash windows slash virtual dash pc slash download dot ASPX this is going to require that you validate your Windows 7 when you attempt this download. Another thing that you're going to need to know is your system type. When you hit this drop down box you'll notice that the different types of Windows 7 are available here both 32-bit and 64-bit. Now uh, be forewarned for the VMware that we're going to be using, you will not be able to use the starter or home version of Windows 7. You must have the professional, enterprise, or ultimate. And it doesn't matter whether you have the 32-bit or 64-bit. The easiest way to find this out is to go to your control panel. Then you want to click on system and under system you'll find out both the pieces of information that you need to know. First, what Windows edition you have. In this particular instance I have Windows 7 Ultimate and then when you come down to system and under system type this will tell you whether you have the 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. You may want to go ahead and jot that down on a piece of paper now so that when you go to download this file you'll know exactly which one to download again you need to know the edition and also the system type whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit okay back to the website where we're going to do the download we're going to go directly to step number two hit the drop down box select your type of Windows 7 in my particular instance it was ultimate 32-bit and then next select your language and now three buttons are going to appear in this particular video we're only going to be dealing with button number one Windows XP mode that's the only one that we need the virtual PC we will not be using and the Windows XP mode update we will not be using this is a added update for the HAV if you have it available on your on your computer again on this particular computer I do not have it and if you're using a laptop you probably don't have it either again um, it doesn't really matter because uh, the VM software is really a better option so go ahead and click on the Windows XP mode download and um, 
download that file, save it to your desktop. Okay, I've already done that, and here is the Windows XP mode. The next file that you're going to need is available at vmware.com and this link is also provided below this video. The link is vmware.com slash products slash player or you can just go to vmware.com click on products and select the player. Okay. When you hit the download button on this one, you're going to need to sign up for a free account. It's quick, painless, and easy. You just need to give them a little bit of information. Uh, your name, of course, and your email address. They won't spam you. It's not a big deal. Okay, so after you've done that, then you're going to download the player, save that to your desktop.